Hey guys, how's it going? Xandabash here, and today I'm coming at you a video on how to change your KV. So if you just got done watching my video on how to use our auto buy, kvshop.net, you're probably wondering how do I change my KV now, get my KV over to my Xbox and get back online. So we're here on my RGH, as you can see, um, there's no ads or anything like you normally see if you connect to Xbox Live. And so we're going to go ahead and see what that is. We're going to go ahead and try to connect to the internet or Xbox Live. And you can see we instantly get this message that says council banned. Uh, this council has been banned. Violation of the service agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Microsoft. All right. So that's not a big deal because we have an RGH. Um, so while I go ahead and pull up all the things on my computer gonna want is a uh, Xbox 360 neighborhood that's a that's a program for your uh, computer it works I know it works on Windows XP and up I don't know about anything before that I know that because I was using Windows XP to mod for a very long time probably 90% of my modding career I've been using that all right so now that we're over on our computer uh, as you can see here, uh, let's go to the home page. This is what you're going to see when you open up Xbox 360 Neighborhood. If not, it's going to want you to set up your console. Well, all you're going to have to really do is enter in the uh, IP, which you can find under Network Settings of your console. And it's as simple as that. It takes less than five minutes. Although, Neighborhood is a pretty big file. Um, so this is what you're going to see. You're going to see your RGH or JTAG as it calls it here. You're going to want to double click. Then we're going to go to retail hard drive emulation. Double click that. And this is uh, the basics of what you're going to see. probably going to look a lot different for you. Um, yeah. So all this. Now we're going to go ahead and want to look for that kv.bin. Now we're going to, I'm going to copy it because I've, uh, that's actually a good KV. It's just, I've been trying to do this video so many times and I just get interrupted or like last time my RGH crashed because I did something wrong because I was being stupid, all that. So you would want to delete that and then say this was your KV. You could just drag and drop it right over here. Now, for you, you would click yes. I'm just gonna cancel that. And um, now your KV is over here. Now, next thing you wanna do is find your cache folder. Mine is right here. If you have a cache too, like I do, don't mess with it. Another cache folder besides the one that says plain old cache, as you see right here, don't mess with those. Um, so we're going to want to double click and for me I only have one file because I like I said I've been trying to do this video so many times and yeah so we're just going to delete all the files in there I mean, I'm just going to delete the one and we're going to go back to here and make sure we clear it so basically what that is doing if we're going over back here to the RGH is uh, a lot of other videos will show you um, to go to the system storage find your hard drive and clear system cache and then do that three times for us what we are doing is the same exact thing we're only doing it once and you only have to do it once because we're making we can see that we got rid of everything just that one time um now if for some reason says one of your files cannot be deleted restart your console and you should be able to do it it's just because one of those files are being used for whatever reason um so if we create a cache i want to make uh one thing i need to mention is oh uh okay one thing i do need to mention is that a lot of other videos uh, tell you that you need to go ahead and uh, put your CPU.bin in here that goes with your KV, um, but they don't really give you a reason. And that's because there is not really a reason. That's just what everyone's been seeing on the internet. So like, oh, I want to make a video and do the same exact thing. You don't need to do that. I'm only making a video for our website, really. Um, and a video that's how to do it right. Um, so now you don't really need to do that um so we're just not even going to do that if you do want to do it for whatever reason it's not like it extends your kv life 
anything. Uh, our KVs uh, at kvshop.net come with that CPU text. You just got to convert it to a CPU bin. And like I said, it don't work. And I've actually heard of instances where the um, if someone were to use the KV or so, sorry, the CPU dot bin, it'll mess up with tools, so you can't use tools. So I that's the, I don't I just don't see the reason why people do that. If you know why, just post in the comments. Um, so that we've cleared the cache, and we made sure that the cache has been clear. We're gonna, gonna want to click over here again to the JTAG, and then click or actually hover over reboot and then click cold. I'm gonna show you what happens over here on the RGH. That feels awful sticky. Um, you're gonna wanna click cold and boom, it goes cold. And now it's rebooting. And I don't know if you can hear my fan, but, or for my RGH or anything now it's gonna if everything worked right there it is it shuts down and now it will reboot right that means you've transferred a new kv one that's not already on your the root of your hdd over now hopefully everything works right and it boots right for me it's hardly ever boots first time i'd be very surprised if it does and ooh, it might it might actually boot the very first time hey all right, now we're gonna get all our messages that we've been authed and everything, like on Purge and like I have and Silk Road Cracked. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to connect again. And we don't get that message instantly, so that's a good sign. Along the chart. And hey, look at that. We got all our ads, everything. We can go over to all this 65 new messages, Jesus Christ. We can even start a party, all that. Um, let's see if we can get a friend online. I can't talk to him right now. Yeah, let's see if he's uh, if he wants to join the party. Uh, I don't know where my mic is for my Xbox 360. Let's just see if he joins the party to prove a point. I doubt it, because he's been waiting for me to get on Battlefield 3. Okay. So I don't think he's going to get online. But yeah, that is the basics of it. Um, actually, not the basics, that's all of it. That's all you really got to do to change your KV. Um, like I said, I'll post the link to Xbox 360 Neighborhood uh, down in the description. I don't think I've let out... I hope not. Um, so... If you like this video, if you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to know anything more or any videos that I should make, go ahead and post those in the comments. And uh, all this and I don't know what I'm just about to say. Um, yeah, bye.